Tonight, some disturbing... Now, Mr. May, it was your push to expand early voting sites that prompted the GOP lawmaker to talk about African-American shoppers and more educated voters. What's your reaction to that? Well, it's unfortunate that Senator Millar took, th took this position. Uh, we were simply uh, attempting to increase accessibility to the polls. You know, the uh, trend in, in DeKalb County, Georgia, is that during presidential elections, uh, voter participation is as high as 70 percent. But during off-year elections, it dwindles down as low as 40 percent. And so by adding one additional day on October the 26th, uh, it gives us an additional day for people to get out and vote. And then on top of that, we also incre expanded uh, the locations of where they can vote as well. Now, we put it at South DeKalb Mall, which is a predominantly African-American uh, area, uh, but we made the attempt to expand it throughout all of DeKalb County. That's the yeah. North and the South, Democrat and Republican. So we attempted to do it in a very fair and balanced way. Senator Arrock, but I'm seeing this all over the country. We, we're on a tour, nonpartisan, to deal with voting rights. They are clearly trying all over the country, but specifically in Georgia and in other parts of the South, to suppress the vote. What is the idea of stopping people from having the ability to vote early, to have days that they can vote early because of their work schedules or child care or daycare? or Sundays coming after church. I mean, this is a very consecrated, uh, concentrated effort. There's no question about it, Reverend. Uh, they're, at, they're playing hardball. They cut in half the number of days for early voting after we had such successful turnout uh, in the uh, recent presidential race. They cut it in half. They are now uh, hooping and hollering and saying they're going to block us from having Sunday voting days. Uh, we should be working together to bring more and more yeah. people into civic participation, into being Absolutely. engaged with voting and participating in politics. And instead, we see them blocking at every point. Uh, I, I think they know their days are numbered, that when large numbers of people uh, vote, uh, they're not going to do well with their narrow, narrow uh, views on race and the fact that they're virtually uh, really almost an all-white party, and they seem to fear uh, people voting in the communities of color. They've, uh, this is a consistent pattern. They, 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 they introduced legislation and tried to pass it this last year of saying that uh, local counties can shut down early voting uh, as, as they wish. Uh, it's been one bill after another, all designed to suppress the vote. You would think that they would be trying to improve their record. You'd think they'd be trying to move well, uh, past the days of the Old South. But uh, sadly, they want to take us backward. But if you look at the strength Lee, of the African-American vote, and for example, in your state, where you have a tightening race uh, uh, that is between Michelle Nunn and, and a Republican candidate, Purdue, is down to one uh, uh, point four uh, uh, percentage points. When you see that kind of tight race, African American voters coming out, and uh, many of them would uh, assumed by the Republicans go for the Democratic candidates. It is really a real strategic move to suppress, to suppress, suppress that vote for clear political reasons, aside from some of the bias that may be involved. Well, and the Senator Millar stated it was about partisan politics, and so whatever it takes to give them the advantage, I think they're willing to do. You know, in DeKalb County, we are uh, a predominantly African-American county. We're the most heavily uh, Democratic county in the entire state, so our county really does matter. And so guess what? If you do have more people coming to the polls early and on Election Day, it is going to make a difference throughout DeKalb County, but the interesting thing is, uh, through our efforts, this this was a nonpartisan effort. Is it wrong to want to get more people out to the polls? It's something that, you know, uh, my ancestors that we rest on. I wouldn't be in elected office had not our ancestors fought and bled to give greater access to the polls. And that's simply what we have been attempting to do uh, through this effort here. And it's, it's historic. And other counties have taken yeah. uh, our lead in that. Uh, locally, Fulton County, and it's particularly the largest county in the state, you know, and other counties as well. I'm going to have to leave it there, right. but I promise you, I'm going to be all over this. I'm going all over the country on this in the next several weeks. This is Tell a story. 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 T
State Senator Axel Rock, DeKalb County CEO Lee May. Thank you both for your time tonight. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Still Pleasure ahead, President you. Obama's message to America 13 years after 9-11, why we can't let fear cloud our judgment.